Ave, gentle beings! Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, Poland, the march to war. Or, should I say, Shemka! Welcome! Um, we're, I'm playing Poland here. And Poland's economy is not great. Uh, the situation is that this managed to survive the Great Depression quite nicely and they're rebuilding their economy after being only a new state for like 20 years. So um, while they're rebuilding it's not a match to anything the West got. Even Czechoslovakia to the south has got a better economy. What they do have is a lot of manpower so we're gonna get make use of that. The army is decently sized. The air force is smallish. There's hardly anything to say about the navy. It's got two destroyers and three submarines. And their tech level is okay-ish. They got three research slots um, and can get two more, which is all they really, really need. Um, they are very much a landlocked country uh, and combat on the seas is non-existent really. So what is the situation for Poland? Poland's got Germany to the west and communist Russia to the east. Um, they are pucked. They are having major problems with that because the Germans want Lebensraum and the communists want to share their uh, revolution with everybody. Which sounds nice, but no. The Poles don't want it. And about 15 years before this point they actually fought off the Polish-Russian uh, war, which they won and which kept their independence and forced Lenin to rethink the whole communist global takeover. So, um, that's their situation. And you'll have to fight them both. They both want Poland gone. So, um, how are we going to make sure the Poles survive and thrive here in Hearts of Iron 4? Well, we got to focus on the army. Army is our major, major... Uh, thing here. If the army fails, nothing else can help us. Uh, the English can use their navy, um, the Americans can use their navy and air power, but that's not an option for the Poles. So our first priority is our army. Then we need our navy, uh, air force to actually have air su superiority, uh, at least over our own lines. So we'll uh, dedicate a small amount to, uh, to actually build up a fighter force and a very small, later on, uh, close air support. So how do you build it up? Well, you need a decent sized economy. And how do you get a better economy? Well, um, it's not nice, but I'm going to use the Baltic states, those three little states to the north, um, conquer them if I can. And if we can, we can use their factories, which is a uh, huh, nice little bonus. Some people do try to take out uh, Romania to the south, which is also a po good possibility. They got uh, a decent sized economy, which will immensely help. But I'm not going to use that. Instead, I'm just going first for the national focus that gives uh, more manpower and going to use that to build up our army. Our army is going to consist of 3 times 24 infantry, uh, 1 time mountaineers, 1 army of 24 mountaineer division and a cavalry corps. Uh, we're going to leave that at 10 units. We're going to make them better, bigger units uh, when we can. And we gotta watch out for the situation that's developing around us. You should never let a good crisis go to waste. 
Germany wants to take over the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia um, that calls in England and France into the war and that means they don't have any armies to our border and yes we gotta make sure we can use that because uh, that means we can walk in and grab whole parts of their country while they're not looking but to see how that goes how the war with Nazi Germany goes I will have to see you all next time.